Harry, green with envy as William makes debut in new title, Duke disguised as royal to meet with US soldiers. The Prince of Wales, sporting full camouflage gear, joined the soldiers of the Mercian Regiment as they underwent training on Thursday. It was William's first visit with the regiment since he was given the title of Colonel-in-Chief by his father King Charles in August, a title Prince Harry had to give up. The new title was one of three new military appointments that were handed down as the King shuffled around his family's commitments in the months since Queen Elizabeth died. Since then, William and wife Catherine have been gradually visiting their various new appointments. Princess Kate visited the first the Queen's Dragoon Guards at their barracks earlier this month in Dereham, Norfolk. She also sported camouflage for the visit after being named the Guards Colonel-in-Chief. Shortly after he arrived on Salisbury Plain on Thursday afternoon, William was given a briefing on the work the regiment's doing to prepare for an upcoming mission next year. That operation will see the 12th Armoured Brigade Combat Team deployed to Poland to provide a range of services including combat engineering, bridge crossing and air defence. As well as the Mercian Regiment, William was made Colonel-in-Chief, the Army Air Corps and Royal Honorary Air Commodore, RAF Valley, where he previously flew as a pilot. The Prince of Wales' visit makes his younger brother Prince Harry feel jealous. Harry, who always has pride in himself during his years in the army, was stripped of all military honours since Megxit. Although he's no longer a working royal, he often disguises himself as a royal to make visits to military sites in the United States. Meghan's husband even wore British medals to show off in America. This is ridiculous. The moves Harry and Meghan made on Remembrance Day proved that they still crave royal fame. Many people are wondering if they'll make any more PR moves when Prince William joined the soldiers of the Mercian Regiment. A source said on Blind Item that Harry and Meg are planning to overuse media this weekend. A walkabout in Los Angeles, a sighting of Archie dressed as a turkey. Harry meeting with US soldiers even though he has no ties to the US military. Rachel shaking her at another concert. It comes as it was reported that the royal family feels Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are bound to betray. Former royal butler Paul Burrell believes Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will violate the opportunity if King Charles lets them back into the close circle. He speaks on behalf of Slingo. I think there's a very bad feeling in the royal family about Harry and Meghan that if they let them back into the royal fold, they'll be betrayed again. They see it as airing dirty laundry in public and telling tales in public, when they know all too well that they shouldn't do that. He added, they see it as Harry now making money off the back of being royal, which is wrong in their books. Mr. Burrell continued, they've thrown other members of the family under the bus, which is well documented now, and you can't go back. Once you've done it, you're out and I think Harry needs to understand that. It's a cruel world, but they have to be like that to survive and to not let one of their own prejudice the privileged world they live in, he concluded.